Hey there, welcome back to my channel, it's me the Mind Injector. In this video we've got a jaw-dropping story that's sending shockwaves through the electric vehicle industry. Mullen Automotive is making headlines with a groundbreaking decision from the Nasdaq hearings panel. But before we dive into the electrifying details, let me hit you with a mind-boggling question. What if I told you this single decision could potentially reshape Mullen's path and even send shockwaves through the entire electric vehicle industry? You heard me right. So, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the electrifying details. Mullen Automotive has just hit a home run. They've secured a favorable decision from the Nasdaq hearings panel, which is a game changer. Mullen's stock is here to stay on the Nasdaq, but there are conditions to meet. Here's the deal. To keep their Nasdaq listing, Mullen must ensure their shares close at or above $1 for 20 consecutive trading sessions by or before January 22, 2024. That's no small feat, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. The company must also host an annual shareholder meeting on or before March 8, 2024. But here's the kicker. Time is ticking for Mullen shares to close at or above $1. Days ago, the electric vehicle company announced that it now has until January 22 for its shares to close at or above $1 for 20 consecutive trading sessions. The Nasdaq hearings panel issued this deadline. A failure to accomplish this could result in Mullen stock being delisted from the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq hearings panel also informed Mullen that it has until March 8 to hold an annual shareholder meeting. Mullen last held its annual shareholder meeting on August 3rd. Although the meeting was deemed ineligible based on Nasdaq standards, because the company did not allow shareholders to ask Mullen's management questions about the business. This compliance issue is not material for the company, as it can be easily alleviated. The $1 minimum bid requirement is another story. Now, here's where the plot thickens. It seems that Mullen already has a plan to reach $1 as the company recently proposed a reverse stock split in a range between 1 for 2 and 1 for 100 at its upcoming special meeting of stockholders on December 15. The company made it clear that it only plans on enacting a reverse split if its shares cannot reach $1 organically. In 2023, Mullen has already reverse split its shares in a cumulative ratio of 1 for 225, following a 1 for 25 and 1 for 9 reverse split. An additional 1 for 2 reverse split would take that ratio to 1 for 450. But wait, there's a catch. According to Nasdaq policies, companies that have executed multiple reverse stock splits with a cumulative ratio of 250 shares or more to 1 over the past 2 years are ineligible to receive a compliance period. Instead, the Listing Qualifications Department shall issue a staff delisting determination under Rule 5810 with respect to the security. Now, here's the million dollar question. Will Mullen risk another reverse split? It's a risky move, given their history. It could throw their Nasdaq extension into question if they choose to reverse split their shares again. So, the big question is, can Mullen stock reach that magic $1 mark before the clock runs out? It's a high stakes game, and Mullen is playing against the clock. Mullen has already shown its hand by proposing that a reverse stock split at the December 15 special meeting, but they've made it clear that this is plan B. Plan A is for the shares to organically rise to meet the Nasdaq requirement. The recent reverse stock split have already taken them from 1 for 25 to 1 for 9, and it's a bumpy road ahead to reach that $1 mark without another split. The pressure is on. Investors are watching, and the Nasdaq's decision to extend this lifeline is the guarantee of success. It's a lifeline, but one that's hanging by a thread. In its press release, Mullen also provided a bleak warning. Examples of such risks and uncertainties include but are not limited to whether the Nasdaq listing and hearing review council will review, and if so, uphold the decision made by the panel and whether the company will be successful in regaining and maintaining Nasdaq listing compliance. It's not a walk in the park. The company is well aware of the challenges that lie ahead. But here's the silver lining. Mullen's CEO David Mishiri is optimistic. He stated, I am pleased Nasdaq gave the company this opportunity to continue implementing its business plan. We are diligently working to regain and maintain compliance with Nasdaq's continued listing requirements. There's a determination in that statement. Mullen's not backing down without a fight. 
Now, let's talk about critical dates you need to keep an eye on. December 15 is a red letter day as that's when Mullen will hold its special meeting of stockholders. The meeting essentially revolves around one pivotal proposal, the reverse stock split in a range between 142 and 1400. If you're a Mullen stockholder as of the close of business on October 30, you have the power to cast a vote for or against this proposal. But here's the curveball. If Mullen goes for another reverse split, it could jeopardize the extension they've received. Per Nasdaq's rules, a company that fails to meet the continued listing requirement for a minimum bid price and has executed one or more reverse stock split with a cumulative ratio of 250 shares or more to one in the past two years becomes ineligible for any compliance period. The Listing Qualifications Department will issue a staff delisting determination. Mullen has already executed a reverse split this year with a cumulative ratio of 1 for 225. Another 1 for 2 reverse split would take that ratio to 1 for 450, which exceeds Nasdaq's stipulated ratio. So, there's a lot riding on that December 15 meeting. Now, let's talk about Mullen's stock performance. On October 26, 2023, this stock had a roller coaster ride. It opened at 28 cents and danced between 28 and 36 throughout the day. The trading volume was over 3.4 million, significantly lower than the average volume of over 55.6 million over the past three months. But here's where it gets interesting. One analyst has thrown out an eye-popping 12-month price forecast for Mullen stock. The median target price is an astonishing $5,175 with both high and low estimates mirroring that astronomical figure. It's a jaw-dropping forecast, especially since there's only one analyst providing it. Usually, you'd see a range of forecasts, but Mullen Automotive is a relatively new player in the EV game, which might explain why it's not on every analyst's radar. Before we get into the exciting details, let me introduce you to Mumu Financial. If you open a brokerage account with Mumu and deposit at least $1 using the link in the description, you'll get a chance to draw a free stock worth up to $2000. But that's not all. If you make a net deposit of $100 or more, you'll receive not just one, but 5 free stocks worth up to $2000 each. And if you're really serious about investing, you can deposit $1000 or more and get a whooping 15 free stocks bringing your potential earnings to a staggering $30,000. So, sign up now using the link in the description and get those free stocks. Now, let's get back to the video. Mullen Automotive isn't just in the EV game, they are here to make a tidal wave. Their unwavering focus on producing top-tier electric vehicles that cater to the surging demand for sustainable transportation is turning heads. Their commitment to innovation and unique product offerings has won them a devoted customer base and piqued the interest of sharp investors. But hold on, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are no specific recommendations available for Mullen stock at the moment, despite the staggering price forecast. However, that forecast suggests analysts have a positive outlook for the company's future performance. Investors who believe in the potential of Mullen Automotive's electric vehicles and its ability to disrupt the market may see this forecast as a promising sign, but it all hinges on Mullen's ability to meet Nasdaq's listing requirements. Before we wrap up, let's talk about financial health. Right now, the earnings per share for the current quarter isn't available, but there's a glimmer of hope. Mullen Automotive raked in $37.3 million in sales for the quarter. This figure speaks volumes. It shows that Mullen is generating revenue and making progress in its operations. The reporting date for the current quarter's earnings is still undisclosed, and investors are eagerly awaiting further financial updates. This information will provide a clearer picture of Mullen Automotive's financial health and its potential for sustained success in the electric vehicle sector. So, here's the bottom line. We've unraveled the dramatic saga of Mullen Automotive's Nasdaq lifeline. The stakes are incredibly high and the potential for Mullen to redefine the EV landscape is substantial. This is it for this video guys, thanks for watching and please make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment down below.